I think for a long time I have been someone who leans toward having more of a kind of negative mindset. And that's something I really don't like about myself because I feel like thinking negatively isn't actually productive. It's not conducive to anything. And there's so much about it that isn't accurate. It's just your perception of reality. Basically, it just feels like you're making yourself more miserable than is maybe strictly necessary. I've been really working lately on retraining my brain to frame things differently. So when I think something negative, I try to counteract it with the opposite positive thought. I've been trying to remind myself not to only know how lucky I am to have the things that I do, but to really feel it. Even from the time I was very young, I've always been someone who was super aware of how lucky and privileged I am to have the things that I do, whether that be access to clean running water or a warm bed to sleep in every night. I think there's a big difference between logically knowing that you're lucky to have what you have and being thankful for it on some like kind of visceral level. It's still way too easy for me to get caught up in things that don't really matter and just feel like they're the whole world and everything is horrible and it's just crumbling down around me and nothing I ever want is going to come to fruition, etc, etc. And I'm aware that that's like very overdramatic, but apparently that's how my brain works, so cool. These are some things I'm thankful for. I'm thankful for my grandma, who is probably the kindest and most giving person that I know. I'm thankful for my parents and I'm thankful to them for giving me a good and safe childhood and for doing the best that they could for me. I'm thankful for my dog, that she's lived as long as she has and that she's still doing relatively well. And I'm thankful that she is the sweetest and most agreeable dog I ever could have asked for if I'd been old enough to have known what to ask for when I got her. I'm thankful for my best friend Carmen because they came into my life at a time when I really needed a friend and for always being there to listen to me rant about things. That I have access to clean water and fresh food, a roof over my head, a bed to sleep in and clothes to wear. That I not only have access to a bathroom but I have my own bathroom and a bedroom that I can decorate in whatever way makes me happy. And that I have a brain that thinks up cool and creative ideas that I can turn into videos which I can then upload to this crazy thing called the internet to share with people. Which means I'm also thankful for you, lovely person watching this. It's so easy, way too easy, to get caught up in the negatives. And a lot of the time they're fairly petty things that just don't really matter. And it's even harder when you find yourself so constantly bombarded the way that we are by news of all of the terrible things happening in the world. Which you, as an individual, don't actually have that much power over, but it's so easy to take the weight of that on your shoulders and just feel so awful and powerless. I've been realizing lately how important it is to sort of reprioritize. It's always good to do good for others and to want to do good for others. But you have to do what's good for you, too. And a lot of that is being grateful for what you have, regardless of the fact that not everything is always ideal. So, what are you grateful for? I challenge you. In the comments, tell me three things you're grateful for. Big, small, doesn't matter. I'd really love to hear it. And I think that with things like this, it's really important to feed off of each other's positivity. Mm, yes, maybe. You can like this if you liked it. And if you would like to see more things from me, feel free to subscribe and hit post notifications or whatever the kids are doing these days. And if you're feeling particularly generous and you would like to share it, I would not be opposed to that either. Is that how the kids do self-promo these days? I hope you are having a beautiful day, week, month, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!